Hi guys, welcome back to. Oh, that was too high. That was too excitable for me, wasn't it? Hi guys. Is he giving me the thumbs up? Welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new. I'm at Dean Cemetery in Edinburgh. And I am quite excited because I've wanted to come here for a couple of years now, but never made it. Um, mainly to see the cool pyramid tomb. What's down here? Catacombs? Nope. Small graves. But that will do. And we'll do our first one quickly. Charles Robert Boys, Deputy Inspector General of Hospitals. There we go. But I've spotted an even more interesting one up here. For the verdigree lovers. Don't think he's gonna be a, a Roman Emperor, but um maybe he thought he was. David Octavius Hill RSA Born 1802 died 1870 and he was Secretary to the Royal Scottish Academy He was a man of upright noble and unselfish character Well a bit of uh, extravagant delusions of grandeur bust but it doesn't say he was modest does it so fair play good luck to him this is like a celtic cross style in a box interesting there's another face at the back there look Reminds me of uh, David Ferrant a little bit, if you know about the Highgate Vampire and all that. Oh, David Scott, 1807 to 1849. Hmm. Bit mucky. And this one, it's got like a ship on it. Robert and Struth, a good uh, Arctic explorer and traveller. Wow who in 1849 sailed in the ship Advice in search for the Franklin Expedition and again in 1850 as a surgeon. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? I think the Franklin was lost in the Arctic, wasn't it? So maybe it went on a discovery or, I don't know, rescue mission. All right, let's head a bit further in to the cemetery. Yes. Sorry, yeah. No worries. Thank you. Well, it's one extreme to the other in Edinburgh, isn't it? One minute people are shitting on graves, the next minute you're getting told off for walking on the grass. So, there you go. So annoyed, so you just can't can't go read the graves in this cemetery. Obviously. Pissed off now. There you go, you can't read that from there, can you? That guy was looking at me as well as soon as I walked in with the camera. So obviously Tourists aren't really welcome here, are they? Or oh, YouTubers, anyway. Well, I'm just gonna have to go on the grass because I can't get under that tree. Can't bend down that far and walk. You should really cut your trees if you want people to stick to the path.
Bit of a crazy one here, look. Winged lions, ram's heads and um, some heron, heron at the top, I think. John Isherman, maybe? Look at that. Stunning. Wouldn't mind going over there, but I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed to walk on the grass. George Aikman. Jane Brown Smith. Can't read anymore. Well, trip hazard, health and safety. Alexander Black, architect of George Heriot School. That's the veterinary school in Edinburgh. Next to Greyfriars, I think. Could be wrong, usually am. And, uh, oh, look at that. William Muir. Dirty, you can't really read that. 1787 1869. A funky haircut. Oh. Got to go on the grass because I'm going to get run over. Like it says, James Buchanan. I wonder if it's a mausoleum. Oh, no way, look at this. The dog. Remember. Tom Rankin, a large and lovable personality, 1875 to 1950. I wonder if it's Cheers, thanks. So there we go, we can walk on the grass again now. So I'm going to take that as permission. Look at this statue. Dirty dress, but um, it's lovely, isn't it? Little boy up there as well. Go back, I don't want to push my luck too much and um, create more havoc than I have already. Francis Gillies, a reverend. Oh. You're trying to kill me, that fella. Second time now. This one's got like a knight on it on a shield. Alexander Munro, I think it says. Now there's a the pyramid. Seems to be some um, military 
stuff on this one. Annie Elizabeth, I think that says. My eyes are getting worse, so I, don't, I, can't, I can't read it. Sword on this one. Archibald, Allison, Baronet, maybe. It's a bit dirty. Much like Edinburgh. The eldest writing's mad. David Rogers, Pounder. Robert, their son, lost at sea about Christmas 1858. Roughly around Christmas, we lost him. It's interesting. Joseph Robertson. Get off the grass. What's this one? Little star. Colonel Robert A. Smith of the Mississippi Regiment, Confederate States Army, native of Edinburgh. Died in Kentucky. That's unexpected. Pretty cool. the one I was going to look at. Look at John there. That's great, isn't it? John Worrell, maybe. Know what the shouting's for. Handsome tomb. The Honourable Lord Handyside and Helen. Just Helen. Get a bit closer to this one. I'm not on the grass, I'm on the wall. Henry Cock um, Henry Coburn. Nice relief on that. And then we'll, we'll get to the pyramid. Do you know what? I've not even bothered to do. What are them girls doing? I've not even bothered to do any research, <laughs> so I don't know who this is. Um, but I will put it up on the screen. But a nice pyramid. In pink granite. Uh, can't read Latin, unfortunately. So I can't tell you that much about it, but sometimes we just like things because they look cool, don't we? And it doesn't get much cooler than that. Keep to the paths, no cycling, no dogs. Well, broke one of the rules, as we know. There's two girls were looking around in these rocks, I don't know what it is. Some sort of naval memorial. Are they hiding something? Or? I mean, they are quite nice rocks to look at. Look at all the shiny bits in it. Ooh, look at this one. Oh, I just love these. Arthur Percival. 
Landscape painter. Francis Hermitage, I think they're in the relief. Life of John Horton. Oh wow, look at this guy. That is haunting, isn't it? Looks like he's had an electric shock. Somebody charmers. George Come buddy, sorry. Come come somebody Robert Cox and Marion Cox Oh wow, this place just goes on, doesn't it? It might be here sometime. Blimey. This guy. Sir James Steelbart, Lord Provost. Provost. Whatever you say it. The huge obelisk. Very shiny one. Stunning angel, isn't it? Major General James George Roach. Just rolls off the tongue. Very cool. William, sorry, Sir William Frazier died 1898. Cool. Um, probably not going to go all the way down there. Terrifying but beautiful relief. Who's that for? Henry Wellwood. I just think it's the eyes, isn't it? Because they've got no no pupils. They all look scary. Another one here. Is 
that a man or a woman? It's a man. I don't know. Isabella Lady Mongrief. Sorry for calling you a man. Somehow missed this one on the way in. Look at that. Until the daybreak and the shadows flee away, it says at the top. Right Honourable James Harrison, 9th Baron of Belhaven. Love the shape and patina on this one. Very dirty. Some more verdigree. Isabella Bruce, wife of James Allen. Angel. Major General William John, can't read the last bit. Gardiner. He's got his hat there and um, like sword and stuff down there. Go, trying to kill me again. Don't really feel very welcome here. You're all staring at me. This one's very intense. John Anderson Zoo Zoo. Zoologist. No, zoologist, sorry. <laughs> oh dear. Looks like this one was an artist. Samuel Bow, I think you pronounce that. And Isabella Taylor, his wife. I guess we'll do this bit down here for the members. So hello members. You get to see the bits other people don't. I don't know how interesting it'll be. Ooh. A bit more leafy. Wow, it just goes on, look at that. Can't see me down here, can they, to tell me off? Ooh. 
Ooh. Lighting's terrible down here, I can't hardly read it. Elizabeth Huntley. Wemmies. Wemmies? Cold. I love being outside this time of year, but um, pick up colds all the time. Little Laura King, born in March, died December. Bless you, Laura. Earth is going on up there. My dirty mind, probably. Most of these aren't readable, unfortunately. The ones that are, the ones that aren't eroded, are on bloody pink granite that I hate reading. Major General. A lot more damp down here, aren't they? Chesperer Grant Salconar, Knight of the Something Order, Lieutenant General of Her Majesty's Forces and Colonel of the 73rd Regiment. Ooh, that's cool. Definitely not somebody you'd mess around with, is he? Got some brown sludgy ones. I thought there might have been some catacombs down here, but no. They're all buried in front of the graves. Oh well. Lion. Oh, two owls either side of it. John Weatherson or Watherson. It's very unusual. The two owls are the best bit for me. I've never seen owls on a grave before. We all have now. Oh, look how one side of this is eroded and the other side is relatively clear. James Mackay, jeweler. It's the trouble with sandstone. Look at that dude. Charles Sidley, surgeon. I don't want to go in there, but um, I don't want any more hassle from the um, fun police.
stones flying everywhere. You just stop, wouldn't you, when somebody walks by? Assholes. Right, I'm probably going to get out of here. Seen a few um, similar names to what we saw before. Wemis is one, and uh, McKay again, who's a chemist. Look at these two matching pair: Frederick Hamilton, organ builder. Um, in the adjoining grave rests my dearest sister. Hugh Black, ship owner, or oh, Grace Seaton Hamilton, must be his um, sister. So noisy, I don't know if you can hear me. Big slab there for William Seller, who was a doctor of medicine. Well, that's it from Dean Cemetery. Um, grounds people were a bit weird, but um, I guess they've got a job to do. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.